Braulio Perez of NJ.com. I'm here with Pat Laney. We're talking North Jersey, Section 1, Group 4. Pat, we got a big time showdown, 1 o'clock MetLife Stadium. We got Wayne Hills taking on Old Tapan. And Pat, this has been a lopsided you know, matchup between the two teams. Who's got the upper hand here historically? It's absolutely Wayne Hills. And when you talk about Wayne Hills football, there's so much history. Uh, they've been one of the most dominant public school programs you know, over the last decade or so. They've actually won 24 straight games against Old Japan, and they're 36-5-2 and all-time against the Golden Knights. Jeez. Last Old Japan win, 1988, so I mean, do the math there. It's all Wayne Hills, uh, his, historically, and of course, you got to remember, those are the Chris Olsen days, mm -hmm. you know, all the Olsen boys, and you know, they had that stretch where they won 55 straight games. Just so, so much history for Wayne Hills, and that's why, you know, the rivalry seems a little one-sided, but, you know, obviously Old Japan's no joke. No, Old Japan, they've got, you know, Jordan Fuller is a guy that just jumps out. But what makes them so dangerous is that they've got a lot of other playmakers as well. Absolutely. Like like you said, everyone thinks, oh, Jordan Fuller, it's Jordan Fuller. He can do this, he can do that. Yeah, of course, he's one of the best players in the state, one of the best athletes, no doubt about it. But what makes Wayne, uh, Old Japan so dangerous mm -hmm. is the fact that they got guys all around Fuller that are just as capable of taking the ball to the end zone. Zach the knife. The running back, you know, he's going to be over 1,400 yards coming into this game. Mm -hmm. Quarterback Kevin Martinez can, can throw it all over the place. Jed Downey's a, a very good tight end, you know, and then obviously throwing Fuller to that mix. And, you know, they just put up points in a hurry. They're, they're going to try to score, you know, a lot of points in this game, and I, I expect them to. You know, speaking of Fuller real quick, he has an older brother, Devin Fuller, who's at UCLA now, and in 2000 and 2011, he lost to Wayne Hills for yeah. sectional championship. So now Jordan has a shot, a little family redemption, it's, right? It's eerily similar, uh, the storylines here. I mean, 2010, Old Japan went into the final undefeated 11-0, best season in school history. Devin Fuller, obviously the star of that team, mm -hmm. lost to Wayne Hills. Kevin Olsen led Wayne Hills' team. Uh -huh. um, and then the same thing in 2011. Kevin Olsen leads Wayne Hills over Old Japan, and and here we go again, uh, third third straight time they're going to meet in the final. So they haven't played since 2011, but you know the storylines are there, and it's it's weird how it works out sometimes. All right, Pat, who's uh, who you got in this one? Uh, I look at the common opponent here um, in, in the middle of the season. Ramapo kind of took it to Wayne Hills a little bit, beat him by a couple of scores. Meanwhile, Old Japan, you know, went to the wire, you know, won on that fumble against Ramapo, but they still did beat Ramapo. So common opponent says Old Japan. Old Japan has been my pick from the start. Uh, they're obviously number seven in our top 20. I've thought very highly of them. And obviously that offense I've, I've spoken about all season long, very high powered. And I expect them to be uh, to come out on top because of that offense in this game. So I'll say Old Japan wins something like 35-21. Well, it'll be a shootout, no doubt. One o'clock MetLife Stadium. We'll see you there.